Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to go over the latest uh, software updates for the AR4 robot. This is software version 6.3. In this version, um, we've made the software compatible with Linux. I've also updated the, uh, the layout of the software a little bit to help with resizing. And then um, I've also added some pages to the website for uh, ROS2, so we'll go over that. This is software version 6.3. I have all of the controls reorganized into a grid architecture to help with uh, you know, the software resizing. Um, up here in the upper left is our program controls and below that is the motion controls, Xbox uh, controller, the uh, virtual robot and position commands and then up in the upper right here we've got our joint jogging commands. Below that is the Cartesian and tool frame jogging. And then we've got our command builders for our if-then statements and setting inputs and outputs on, you know, five volt I/O boards or PLCs, um, navigation, register commands. Um, you know, all, all the same controls we had before, just reorganized. Got the uh, config setting tabs with all of the robot calibration and all of the other features. Um, kinematics with all of the kinematic values and robot values, so you could control any robot. And then, uh, of course, our input and outputs for either a 5 volt dial board, you know, an Arduino Mega or, or whatever. And then, uh, you know, a comm device or a Modbus, you know, PLC. And then our registers and our vision for doing vision picking and, uh, and our G code tabs. So all the main functionality is still there. The uh, minimum size is 1600 by 900. And then now it will cleanly maximize to full screen. So that uh, hopefully should help some people out who've had issues with some of the resizing issues we've had. And then um, also as far as the virtual robot, if I open that up and pull that over here, and I'll resize it, Can I put it right here. So now I've made it so that the uh, virtual robot stays on top. So you can, you know, jog the robot and put the, uh, you know, put the screen wherever you want and, uh, kind of stays in front so that makes it a little bit easier for the uh you know using the virtual robot control if you come here to anandrobotics.com to the main project website and then go to downloads you'll see we've got um you know the build manual to build the robot and then we've got links for the uh, software so right here for the new version 6.3 here's a direct download for the source code and a direct download for the exe version here um, I've also got a new Anon Robotics uh, GitHub repository, so if we go there and uh, go into the repositories, you'll find the AR4 HMI uh, repo here, so you could uh, clone this and get all of the, uh, you know, the source code here as well. And then going back to the downloads page, we've got the Teensy sketch files, so this is the uh, Arduino-based sketch that you would load to your uh, robot control board. And then also, if you want to use ROS2 to control the robot, there's a couple repositories here um, for ROS2. The first one is by Yifei Chong. He's been the primary um, developer for the ROS um, packages for the AR4. And then we've also got a uh, repository here by Ukamin Labs. If we go up to the top, there's also a tab here with a little more information on each of these repositories. So there's some more info in here on both of these. Um, Efe's got some videos here on setup. Um, so here we've got <clears throat> this one. He goes into some detail on, uh, you know, path management and using move it to uh, do collision avoidance and things like that. The uh, Ukamin Labs um, packages, they've done some pretty cool stuff. They've uh, got the robot working with um, Isaac Sim doing some simulations. So there's some some cool videos here on that. And use an Isaac Sim to uh, train the robot to play chess. All right, so I'm here on my Linux machine. We will go to the uh, AR4 repo for the uh, for the HMI software, and we'll come here and copy the uh, clone link. And then I'll go to my install folder, and we'll open up a terminal there, and we'll clone that. We'll paste in that address. So that'll start cloning or copying the entire repository to my local machine here. Okay, that took a little while to download and get copied over to my local machine, but we're here in the uh, AR4-HMI folder. We're in a terminal, so we'll uh, open up a virtual environment. And 
then we'll source that. All right, so we've got the virtual environment going. Now there's a uh, text file in here called requirements. So we're gonna install everything that this, uh, all the dependencies that the program needs. So we'll do PIP install. Text. So that'll start explore, uh, that'll start installing all the dependencies we need for this program. So the other thing we need to do is install the uh, UDEV rules for uh, the Teensy. That uh, gives it uh, access to the COM ports. So now going back to our virtual terminal, we should be able to start up the program. And so there you can see we have the interface open. So now we can go to the config setting tab and go to our Teensy COM port and you'll see we have all of our hardware ports here, but then we can choose the real port. As soon as we choose that port, it will connect to the Teensy board on the robot and say system ready. And now we can go to our main screen and you can see, you know, we can uh, jog and control the uh, real robot through Linux using the uh, software version 6.3. I also wanted to give special thanks to Jason Kirk. Jason has been instrumental in helping me with software and getting it all set up with Linux and a number of other improvements. Um, you know, Jason and I have collaborated on a few different projects since high school, so I just wanted to thank him for all of his help. Those are all of the uh, updates I have for software version 6.3, so give it a try. If you have any questions, please reach out to me at info at and thanks for watching.